Hi everybody and welcome back to Cornish Watch Reviews. Well, today's little beauty is the Vox Vostok Komandursky. Yeah, it's a Russian utilitarian watch. It's a chrome case, fully chromed as you can see. And it's actually made of brass. So it's a real beater watch. It comes on this absolutely awful Russian strap, which has got this um, so-called padding here. It's not a particularly comfortable strap, but I've kept it on there just to keep it original. This is my beater watch. So I'm out in the garden, doing anything on the car. This is the watch I'll wear for it. It's automatic, it's hand windable, there's no rotor in it, so it's fully manual. It's got one very unusual feature on it, which I can't see the point of. It's got a rotating bezel. It's a friction bezel, so it doesn't click, it's purely friction. Why you would need a rotating bezel with no marks at all on it, I have no idea. But there it is. It's the rotating friction bezel. If anyone's got any idea why you would need that, because I can't see a purpose for it. It has got a loomed dial, loomed hands rather, and hour pips are loomed, but the loom is, isn't very good at all. It's a printed dial. This is all printed apart from the applied loom pips. Quite like this one, with a submarine on it and the seagulls. And of course you've got your anchor down at the six o'clock position. It's got the standard screw down crown with the wobbly crown, which is done for shock resistance. So if it has accidents, if you drop it or bang it, it won't damage the internal work workings of the watch. Now, if you're interested in one of these, I'll give you a little tip. Only wind them 18 times. Lovely satisfying click, isn't it? Just do it 18 times. Don't wind it anymore. That's all it takes. And 18 winds on that will give you one and a half days of use. So it's quite efficient as far as that's concerned. Um, as far as accuracy, this one in very good. This one gains five minutes every week. Yeah, it gains five minutes every week. I was gonna have a go at trying to adjust it, but as you can see, I've not bothered. Reason I haven't bothered it is, I don't wear it a great deal. It's just my beater watch. No glass on this one. All that is, is a piece of plastic that's put over the top. It's like the G10 watches. Nice bit of dome on it. But uh, I suppose having that, a little bit of poly watch, if you do scratch it, it'll come out quite nicely. As you can see, I've got no marks on it at all. I do like to look after my watches. Well, there it is. That's the Vostok Komandursky. Oh, I might do a wrist shot in a minute. I'll put it on my other wrist as well, like I did the other day. Not a particularly good wrist shot, I grant you, but you get the kind of idea. I'm still messing about with the settings on this camera. So please excuse me for that. Right, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll be back tomorrow with another review or a look at another watch. I forgot to mention, this one has no quick set date on it, so you have to go up to 12 and keep going around. You can kind of do a quick set, quick set hack. If you put it up to 12, then go back to 10 to 12 and back like that. 
it will actually reset the date. But I like going around all the time. I don't know. I just like that. Right. Thanks very much, everyone. Bye.